you, I, I, you know, I, I'm a fan of hip hop. I've, I've been around hip hop my entire life, but you were in the South. I did not know your story. I want you yeah. to talk to, it seems to me, and I could have this wrong, but you were a man with a lot of potential, but yeah. you got caught up in the streets late. It's yeah. not like you didn't do all the right things. Yeah. So can you speak to somebody who right now is listening to this or they know somebody with so much potential, but they are on the verge of throwing their life away because you get um, sent home from Houston where you was playing yeah. ball, you messed up your Achilles, and yeah. then you hit the streets. So you got a real late start in hitting those streets. Speak yeah. to somebody who has potential, but is, is, is essentially throwing it away. So... I want to talk to the people that's wasting their talent. Don't waste your talent. They say most of the treasures in the world is in the graveyard. Some people would never get a chance to use that or utilize because they either going to get killed or go to jail before they get a chance to blossom. Uh, I'm a blessed man. I thank God up above and I get on my knees every night because he spared my life and he saved my life. Uh, and my life could have been a tragedy, which now it's a testimony. And um, it's never too late. And I think that anybody could understand knowledge, but it's all about applied knowledge. Apply what you're doing so you can make smarter and better decisions. Uh, I didn't come from a perfect life, and I think that's why people can relate to my story. Uh, it was a lot of trials and tribulations, a lot of pain, but I used that pain not to be angry, to keep me moving, and it motivated me. Like I said, those failures motivated me. I, I didn't just go into a record company or radi radio station and just gave them hit records. I filled that so many records before I ended up selling 100 million records. And... Um, Sometimes you got to crawl before you walk. You got to keep running. Life is a marathon. Everybody race is going to be different. Uh, I'm just thankful. I think that I could thank the man up above. I put my trust and faith in God because he spared my life. And don't wait till it's too late. Anybody that's listening and watching this, uh, don't let other people dictate your future. Uh, don't get caught up with the yes men. Cut people off. I don't care whether they're family, friends, whatever. If they're not on the right path with you, you might have to cut them off. And I think that's what I was able to do. Realize that I only could help people so much. Now I need to help myself. I need to invest in me. Uh, if I didn't do the right thing, I wouldn't be here. So even when you look at, like you say, how people talk about Puffy, if that man didn't decide to get up every morning and work and better himself, People wouldn't be able to talk about him. He'll be dead or in prison. But he decided to say, I'm going to do something the right way. I don't have to look over my shoulders. I don't. So a lot of people don't understand that. They sit around. Everybody has 24 hours. What are you doing with your 24 hours? If you partying and playing and hanging around with negative friends, uh, doing negative things, where do you think your life going to be at? And I start realizing that as a man, uh, and I had a kid, so I'm like, I got a son now. I have to figure this out. I had to move. I had to get away. And if I didn't do that, think about it. Who would be talking about me right now? If I didn't decide to change my mindset and break away from the negativity, that's the only way God was going to bless me with the positive things. I had to remove the negative stuff. And so we all are work in progress. Nobody's perfect. So don't be afraid to replace something negative or something positive. That's the only way to grow. And don't blame your problems on other people, on whether you're a man or a woman to be a man. Because you know, people always talk about keep it real. Mm -hmm. So that's what y'all don't realize. The hood is not keeping it real. If you die, go to jail, the hood is not going to care about you. They act like it. they got this certain code and everything they keep. But at the end of the day, everybody want to make it out. I don't know nobody in the hood want to stay there. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you know, if they get an opportunity, they hit the lottery or whatever, they gone. One thing about me, I'm never going to forget where I came from, but I have a different mindset. Uh, if you're not on the same mindset I'm on, uh, 
I'm only coming back to help the kids because I'm I want to prepare the future to save people that look like me that that has that opportunity to be great. Um, I'm focused on the next generation education and I'm focusing on the elderly. And I think that's the path that I'm on. In order to build a generational wealth, we got to make sure we take care of the future. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.